Hey guys, today's video is kind of a special one for me. We just hit 50 subscribers, which is fantastic. So I decided that I'd make this video for you guys today because it's one that I haven't been able to find anywhere and it's an incredibly useful tool. So what you're gonna wanna do first is drag your footage into your timeline. So you've got your clip in there. We're gonna use this shot that I got from my Mavic. And we are going to go into our generators over here. We're gonna get rid of that and pull out a fusion composition. This is where all the magic is gonna happen. It's in the fusion, well, as you can see from this little magic wand. So we're gonna click on our fusion tab, pop into fusion here, make sure that we have our fusion clip selected. If you don't see this bar down here, just come up, hit clips right here, and then all of your clips will pop up, you'll be able to switch between them. So we're gonna move that over here so it's out of the way. And then we're gonna add some text obviously. So we want this showing in the first viewer up here, so we're going to hit 1 with that selected. We're going to type in 50. I think you guys can probably guess why at this point. We're going to make that size absolutely zero. We're going to keyframe it, and then we're going to come out um, probably, you know, 50 frames. And then we're going to make that significantly larger, probably even larger than that. So we're going to type in, uh, well, let's do 1. So it's a big old 50. And then what we're gonna do is add in a background node. And what this is gonna do is create the whatever color you want to show around your 50. So now we're gonna change it so our merge is here. And you can see that you don't see it because this green line on top means that the background is on top of the text. So what you can do to fix that is hit Control T and then your text will get the green line and it will be on top. So this is what we have right now. We're gonna bring this down to our media out, and then we're gonna pop into our colors panel. So you click on colors down here, the little palette, and then we're gonna do a key. So all you have to do for that is click on this little qualifier eyedropper right here, click inside the white of the letter, and then we're gonna hit Shift H so that we can see what's being qualified. We're gonna clean our black just probably up to five, and then we're gonna invert our mask. So we've got this. You're gonna denoise it just a tiny bit so that the edges are smooth. And then you're gonna come up into this window here where you see your nodes. You're gonna right click, you're gonna hit add alpha output, and then drag this blue box to this blue here. And what that's gonna do is make it so that what the uh, timeline sees has that alpha on it. So there you go. You've got your see-through text. So if you watch that back, it's gonna grow and you're gonna see the text in it the whole time and you got the video underneath you can put whatever video you want in there you can pop a transition on it if you want to We're, we'll try this one the VHS transition on the end of that so as you move forward through your clip you can see it doesn't like to load the VHS transition but you get your transition there and then it just goes right into your new clip. Easy as that, super fast, super simple, and like I said, not a lot of good tutorials on how to do this out there for DaVinci Resolve 15 with Fusion. I hope you guys learned a ton from this video. I hope that this helped you. Let me know in the comments below what you're gonna be using this for because I think it's awesome to see you guys creating stuff. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for new videos every single Monday and Wednesday, and I'll see you guys in the next one.